Many patients with serious and chronic back problems turn to surgery for relief, but for about one in three of them, that operation does not bring the relief that's needed. That's the plight of a Scranton woman. Eyewitness News Health Beat reporter Mark Killer sat down with her to learn about what ultimately helped her out. Mark? Nick, this woman from Scranton went that surgery route without success, so now she's turned to a high-tech alternative to lessen the pain and increase her mobility. After decades of severe back problems, 72 year old Connie Vinceguerra wasn't sure where to turn. The pain was getting worse and worse. She'd already undergone three surgeries, including having a rod inserted into her spine to straighten her back ravaged by degenerative discs. But the procedures didn't provide relief. It's just the pain in the back is so severe that you can't do other things. With more fusion surgery ruled out, she learned about another option. I couldn't believe something like this existed. It's called a dorsal spinal cord stimulator. We make a small cut and through that we insert these, these wires. Neurosurgeon Mauricio Campos demonstrates how the medical device works by using a model of a spine. And this cable will be connected to the uh, implantable pulse generator. The pulsinator is implanted near the dorsal surface of a patient's spinal cord and creates a tingling sensation. It will, same as a pacemaker, send electrical signals mm -hmm. that will modify the perception of pain before it reaches the brain. Vince Aguera heard how it helped other patients. And it made their legs better. They could actually walk better, so I figured, what why not? What do I got to lose? Do I li live with the pain the rest of my life or can I do this because this regulated the pain? She underwent the implantation procedure in July and the result? As soon as that stimulator is on, I don't have the pain. Then Seguera is back on her feet and moving freely thanks to the dorsal spinal cord stimulator. And so how has it changed your life? It has because oh. I don't have the pain. That's it. The main thing, I don't have the pain. The spinal cord stimulator will remain in Vince Aguera's back for five years. She places a charger and a belt on her back every one to two days to give the rechargeable battery the boost it needs to work. With the help beat, Mark Hiller, Eyewitness News. Can't argue with those results, Mark. Wow, amazing. Thank you.